Hi friends, welcome to Paula MJ's Place. My name is Paula. If you're new here and you haven't subscribed, welcome and please consider subscribing if you enjoy my videos. And if you're a current subscriber, welcome back. And as usual, I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you so much for your love and support. And also a thumbs up is appreciated. And today, <laughs> I have a Dollar Tree haul for you. It's a short Dollar Tree haul, but um, I did go to the uh, a few of my Dollar Trees today. Let's see, one, two, four of them. Yeah, four, four of them. And I have a small haul. I just bought mostly the things that I needed. So, yeah. And also, if I forget to tell you, be on the lookout for um, uh, <laughs> also a Dollar Tree walkthrough soon after this video is uploaded as well. Um, so I'd like to start off with this um, Curad. It's a self-adherent wrap from the Performance Series, the Iron Man US Series, official medical supplier. So I had one of these before and I was using it on my wrist because my wrist has been bothering me a lot. But this is actually, um, from what I've read, it's if you have like a wound and you have to put like gauze on it and you don't want to tape it or anything you just wrap this around the gauze I that's what I read I've been using it for like a support on my wrist because it's not really bulky and it just gives me the support I need and I had one but after a while or eventually see it um sticks to itself but after a while you know that it starts not sticking to itself. So I had one and it started doing that. I think I used it maybe five times before it did that. So um, today I saw them at the store. So I bought one for a backup for it to use. And then I was coming out of the store and I just kind of pushed the door the wrong way and I turned my wrist wrong and oh my goodness. So I put it on in the car and um, that's what I'm using this for. And it does, it wraps around this little thing and I kept it because that's what I'll wrap it around after I'm done with it. And it just offers me just the right amount of support. I bought one from the Dollar Tree. Um, I think it was the Keras brand or something like that. Just like this, but it, it's not the same. It was really bulky. Like when I tried to grab anything, it, it hurt. The, the, all the layers hurt. This one is not like that. It gives way and it's elasticy, but at the same time, it gives like a, a support to the wrist, to my wrist anyway. I did order a couple of wrist supports from Timu, and I have one. I don't know what I did with it, but it's like one of those like has metal in it. I have no idea what I did with it, so it's not a surprise. All that to say, yeah, this is what it's like, and it is two inches by five yards, and it looks like they might have more colors. It says black right here, and that's the only color I saw, so that's the color I purchased. It's fine for me, $1.25. Everything in this um, haul is going to be $1.25 with the exception of one item. So the next item I found was the SureFresh um, cereal. <laughs> cereal container. <laughs> I don't know what was so hard about that, but yeah. It is 16 cups, 128 fluid ounces. Um, I've been looking for this ever since I've seen other people haul it. We don't eat that much cereal anymore. But I do have some once in a while, and I have my Kit Kat cereal that I bought from Dollar Tree a long time ago that we haven't opened. So we might give it a go and then just put whatever's left in here. So that's what it looks like. Now they do have these stored separately. I only saw um, a, quite a bit of stock in one of my Dollar Trees. That's where I got these, this one from. And then I went to another one and they just had one like thrown somewhere, like somebody had decided they didn't want it and I didn't see any more. Just make sure you get the lid for it because they're like separate. In, these were in, like right beside each other, but they weren't like the lid was not on it So don't forget to get the lid it even tells you over here. Don't um, don't forget your base if you're looking at the lid And if you're looking at the bottom it says don't forget your lid <laughs> So they're trying to help you out <laughs> And this just this was a bag in there. It was just separating them from each other because they were piled up on each other I hope it works. I mean it looks like it probably will I mean, I thought this was good, and I we need this. I don't have one like this, so I'm trying to buy only the things I need, <laughs> and I'll film the rest for you, but yeah. Alrighty, and then um, a while back, I hauled the Guru Nanda foldable toothbrush, and it even had antibacterial lid, like in the, when you fold it. 
This one is Brush Buddies, foldable toothbrush and toothpaste. It doesn't say anything about antibacterial, but it does fold into itself and it has a tongue cleaner. Great for travel. And the reason I got this is because we, when we did travel, I had mine, the Guru Nanda. Nobody else had one. I mean, um, you know, we have Sonicare and whatnot, but you don't want to, I didn't want to take that just for a couple of nights or one night. So I took mine, but this is good because it's got the toothpaste and the toothpaste does not expire, I believe in 2020. Yeah, expiration January 2027. So it's good. You got it. You throw it in the suitcase and you're good to go. Um, if you're not going to be gone very long, that should last you enough, right? <laughs> and they had, um, this. they'll be in the Waku. They had, I think, blue, green, I'm pretty sure that, and then orange, I think. They might have had other colors, but I got the orange one because we don't have an orange one. <laughs> So yeah, I thought that was good. I hadn't seen that before. And then um, I saw this in the Supreme in the Supreme in the spice section. It's the Supreme Tradition garlic and pepper seasoning, 12 ounces. So I saw this and then like right below it there was like a half the size, one half the size of it. So I thought, I'm going to get this. Excuse me, cuz I don't have these two spices mixed together. Normally, oh, it does have salt as well. It says salt, garlic, black pepper, oregano. I thought it was just salt and pepper. I mean garlic and pepper seasoning. Anyway, usually if I make uh, a lot, most of the most of the things that I cook, I put pepper and garlic in. So this is already together. And um, I like the coarsely ground pepper and some members of the family don't. So this has already got the finely ground pepper and the garlic. So I'll just use that. Sorry, my eyes are just but yeah, I thought that was a good deal. And this is a Greenbrier product. Uh, yeah. It's a nice large, and then they have like seasoned salt too. Seasoned salt is expensive. I think it's, um, I forgot the kind I use. I don't know if it's, La I think it's Lari's. It's like six or seven dollars for a thing of seasoning salt. I don't use it now as much as I did before, but when I went to buy it, I was like, what? <laughs> Yeah, so I have no no problem with Dollar Tree spices at all. I mean, I haven't had any problem at all. And I've used that these and the, I think it's called Kelowna. I don't know if that's a Greenbrier brand, but I haven't have have not had any trouble with them. Next um, thing I purchased was make sure I got everything here. Oh, I've been looking for this. Someone has a birthday coming up, so. I don't have this number and I needed it and I like the silver not the gold a lot of times they have more gold than silver so I just purchased it when I saw it I will be needing another number but they didn't have it so got that out of the way because I didn't have a big haul today so I just bought you know things that I really needed and also this is a repeat purchase I gotta say these were really good these are the uh, Amos brand sushi gummies they, I bought two last haul and they were really soft. I gave um, some to my son and he's like, Mom, these are really soft. I had just had my tooth pulled like, I don't know, a day or two. And he's like, try this, try this. Like, no, I just had my tooth pulled. So he took cut a little piece of the fish's tail off so I could just try it and it was really soft. These were gone in no time. They're really good. I wish they were like in a bag with all the pieces in there because this lot there's like five pieces in here one two three four no four pieces in here right yeah that's not much for dollar 25 but they're good and they're by that amos um brand which is has the other fruit gum fruit uh yeah they are fruit the gummies in the bag so this was really good and then i tried the other gummies i'm just going to quickly show you so I tried these peelers that I bought. I gotta say, they don't peel. None of us really cared for them. I couldn't peel them, so I just stuck the whole thing in my mouth. Uh, tried to chew it, but like I said, I have my tooth full. Uh, it's soft enough, it just, the taste is not that great either. I didn't, I didn't care for it, that's just my opinion. I didn't care for it, it didn't peel. I would rat, much rather have the other ones, the strawberry and the pineapple that have that like uh, liquid in the middle. That's much better. This, I don't know, these went viral. I don't know, maybe it's just the, 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 <laughs> the 
the uh, peeling effect. I don't know. Sorry about that. So yeah, I, I, we didn't like these at all. We enjoyed these, but we didn't enjoy these. So yeah. And then the next thing I did get was this. So I don't need any more tchotchkes from the Dollar Tree or anywhere else. But I thought this was so nice. They had, I think, Hope, I believe Home and Love. I think the Home was white. You'll see them in the walkthrough. I wanted the white one, but I didn't want the Home. I wanted the Hope word. So I'm just going to paint it. I mean, it was just white with where the black is on this one. So I'm just going to paint it white. It's so pretty. I just, I don't know. I couldn't pass it up. Then they had these like snowflake, it wasn't a snowflake, it was more like a Mandela type thing in black and just regular wood color. Those were pretty too, but I, I left those there. I don't, but this was so nice. Well, they're both really nice. I just had to pick one and I picked it. <laughs> this is going to be um, from top to bottom. It's going to be eight inches, just the sign itself. And then across, across is going to be three. And then I did not include the hanger but if you do include the hanger it's going to be the hanger and the tassel it's going to be about 17 inches now keep in mind this isn't always the same the hanger on one could be longer than the other but yeah and i picked out the one that had the best bow this is kind of smushed but the tassel's not crooked so you know some of those tassels are like barely on there but yeah and this is a green briar product it says 10, 20, 23, so that's probably when it was manufactured. I didn't see it at all last year, or this year until now. Not to say that it hasn't been anywhere, but I just saw it in one of my stores. So I thought that was really pretty, and I should have got the other one, the Mandela looking one, because I know when I redecorate, I'm gonna look for something that, usually I take that and I can glue it on something else. Oh well. <laughs> so yeah, I just, that's really pretty, I think. And then um, I did get bread again. The one with the best date, again, was the Wonder Texas Toast, July 20th. We really enjoyed this last week. I mean, it's gone, and it was so soft. It just was really good. They have, um, I didn't film it this time, but they have other, the wheat and all the other ones. But the date is not as good as this one. And then I saw this. I mean, these felt really soft as well. The white sub rolls. The date is July 13th. You get six in here. I mean, for a sub, yeah, me. I love pastrami. A pastrami sub with cheese. Oh, yeah, me. <laughs> I think I'm going to have to get me some pastrami so I can make me a sub. But yeah, there's six in here and July 13th, 2024. So yeah, and then, oh, yeah. <laughs> One of my, two of my stores actually had the fall in the plus section out. You'll see that in the walkthrough. But I've been wanting this since last year when I saw all of my YouTube sisters that had a plus section then hauling these or just showing them in their walkthroughs. My sweet friend Donna from Donna's Deals and DIY said she would send me one. But, you know, I wanted also a tear tray, a small one. She sent me that one. And she said she sent me this too. I said, no. Nah. I, it's, it would cost too much to ship. This is MDF, so it's still heavy. So I just had it in the back of my mind. I'm like, oh, we're gonna get a plus this year, maybe. And sure enough, it is the Lazy Susan, $5. This one says Grateful. There's another one that's fall themed. I don't remember exactly the wording, but I got this one because I can use it year round. I'm always grateful. <laughs> Thank you, God. And then it's got like leaves. But I mean, those leaves looks kind of like leaves. I don't know. Leaves are all of, all year round. So I think this is going to be good in my kitchen. I just love Lazy Susans. I have quite a few. And this one's really nice. It looks like wood, but you know, it's not. But I'm so glad I found it. I was like, yay. And um, I will link Donna's channel in the description box below. She's a real sweetheart. You can go over and... Um, Check her out if you would, and subscribe if you are so inclined. And um, I think that's the end of my haul. Oh, I have one more review. So I hauled this in my last um, haul. This is the Swan Whitening Mouthwash Alcohol Free compared to Crest 3D White. Um, 
I can't attest to to uh, whether it you know makes your teeth white because I only used it a couple of times but I want to say this has hydrogen peroxide in there which yeah it's going to whiten your teeth but they didn't disguise the taste of the peroxide at all you put that in your mouth and you can taste peroxide I mean there's a peroxide aftertaste what does that say? Does it give you like a cl clean mint? No, to me it didn't taste like no clean mint. It tasted like peroxide. So yeah, I mean, you know, I'll use it, but yeah, it, it was, tasted a lot like peroxide. So, I mean, that's not a bad thing. I just didn't like that taste. So this is, yeah, 16.9 uh, ounces, and this is the one that compared to the Crest 3D White. So that's just my two cents, you know, take it with a grain of salt. You want to, you know, I'm just trying to give you my opinion. <laughs> so anyway, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you all. Be on the lookout for a Dollar Tree walkthrough. And there will be shorts here and there of some items um, from the Dollar Tree. Some may not be in the walkthrough. So I'll upload those too. And again, thank you so much for watching. Again, I appreciate you all. Until next time, be well and be blessed.